We'll start with the Mustard R43, size 12. Got a 2.8mm tungsten slotted silver bead. This is a three extra long hook for the diving caddis. Uh, we've got Shea 14 aught grey. So we'll just apply a little bit of that. There go, we where's my remove that. And I want to go back to about let's have a look. About there. Then I want to build up a taper that increases towards the thorax for the foundation of the moose main body. So once we've built up that body on the foundation, we go back to about there. I've got three moose hairs, one with a long brown point, one with a short brown to white point and one black. I'll just trim off the ends of those and we'll go back right to the rear of the fly. We tie these in, don't let these extend beyond the bead and that means that you don't have to cut them off trim them down so we just flatten our thread again keep the body even and we go up over the body again into there and we could take our three hairs keep these parallel I'll turn my vice that way perhaps you can see better and we'll just wrap these Get that first turn in first. That's the most important one. Now what we want to do is keep the hairs parallel as we wrap them and we have to wrap them hand over hand otherwise they'll twist. We don't want that to happen. We won't, don't want them to cross each other. Because uh, that's the way you get the best body effect if you wrap them parallel. You can see how the body colour is changing now as it gets further up the abdomen into the thorax. That will do us very nicely there. So we just tie those off there. Secure them and we can trim all those off. We'll go back uh, just a wee ways and we can take a little UV resin. I like to apply this with a needle rather than straight from the bottle. As you can have much more control over the amount you apply and where it goes. Don't need much, this is just to, this will actually make it sink faster. UV resin bodies cut through the water much better than natural materials. They're more streamlined, of course, and it will extend the life of it. So that's that, we'll give it a blast with the UV light. That'll do us. You can see how nice a body effect it has. And then we need to prepare a mallard breast feather, a hen mallard breast feather like this. You want a feather with a relatively flat tip, not a pointed tip. And we strip off the down so it's about that long. And then we place this on top of the hook shank and we go around two or three loose turns. Don't have to tighten these up yet. And then we just gently pull the wing through that feather's a little bit too long so what I'll do is I'll just shorten it by pulling off a few millimeters at each side and that'll 
will do us fine. And we just place that on top. And the two or three loose turns. Pull that through. Position it nicely before you go any further. That's perfect. That's a nice wing. So then we can go forward, tighten up, come back just a wee ways, and trim that off. Secure it. Absolutely perfect. That's good. And we can go back into here. And then we need some dark tan super fine just a pinch nothing more and we slide that up catch it in just on the wing case right at the beginning of the wing and we just go over not tightly Check the wing again, that's very good. Excellent. I've prepared, I have to go back into this dubbing a little bit, a partridge hackle. And we just tie this one in. Like so. Trim off that. And put a hackle plier on. All I want to do here is just the faintest of a spider hackle. And we tie off that, remove our hackle plier, then we can remove that that's good now we need some olive grey super fine again just a little bit we don't want this too tight because we're going to brush it out over the partridge hackle I want to hold that partridge hackle down Good. Take our whip finisher. One, two, tighten it up. Remove that, and then we take a dubbing brush and we just want to pull the fibers very gently out over the partridge hackle. And that's the finished diving beadhead caddis. You can lift the wing up a little bit more if you wish. But it works a real treat. Uh, just pull it through the surface, just under the surface, uh, as an egg laying caddis. And it, it really is a nice pattern to fish. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.